runs. After losing his wife, a man decided he wanted to give back and honor her life. That's why Dean Troutman takes his new Princeville Park seriously. So seriously, in fact, he's going on a trek across the state of Illinois to raise money for it. WNBD's Hannah Hilliard was there as the town of Princeville sent Dean Troutman off on his 700-mile journey. Many words can describe 84-year-old Dean Troutman, but he has one that may just sum it all up. I've been crazy all my life. <laughs> People called him crazy when he bought a plot of land in the middle of Princeville back in 2011. Soil, land, it's there for a long time. And, uh, well, Princeville probably could use a park. But it's why he did it that makes him a little less crazy. My wife passed away in July of 2010, and uh, I started thinking about some type of memorial for her. So he invested more than $300,000 and built a football field, a ballpark, and multiple pavilions. But... Sometimes he tends to forget the prices have changed since 1950 or 60s. But I've spent all my life savings on it, and that's the reason I'm doing this. Still, he wants to do more, but he needs a little help. So he's walking 700 miles across the state of Illinois. I didn't have anything to do all summer. I needed something to do, and uh, I thought, well, you know, maybe I could get some sponsors or something and raise a few dollars, and maybe we can get this kid's playground equipment in this park. Right behind me here is the future side of a playground that all this money that we're raising is going to be going towards. He started his journey Tuesday with the whole town of Princeville behind him. And I mean the whole town. And he is off, heading down towards St. Louis before heading back east to Benton and Lincoln with a special visit in between. Stop in a little town in Beecher City where I was born and raised and got married and all that good stuff. And as for plans on sleeping arrangements? Wherever I end up, like, when I get tired, that's where I stay. If he don't make it to Brimfield, he's got already got a ditch picked out to sleep in. And if Dorothy, Peggy Troutman, the inspiration behind the park, was still alive to see just how much he is doing to honor her. She'd be mad at him for wasting all the money doing it in her memory, but uh, she would enjoy it. She'd approve of it, I know that, but uh, she'd probably say I was crazy like a lot of other people do. <laughs> in Princeville, Hannah Hillier, WMBD 31 News. What a great guy. Well, Dean says with the money he raises, he hopes to install a playground, finish the dugouts, and pave the parking lot. To donate to Troutman's Trek, visit our website at ciproud.com. We're getting a first look at the soon-to-be-open Peoria Playhouse Children's Museum. The museum director says it will be a place for families to play and learn together in a fun, interactive environment. Peoria Park District and its partners are behind the effort to create this resource in the community. We're also working with a team of elementary school teachers drawing on their expertise to design high quality useful field trips. This group meets four more times before the end of the school year. So look on our website over the summer for information about field trips that will be available beginning in September. The Peoria Playhouse Children's Museum is located at Glen Oak Park. Exhibits include a farm, train, waterway and feature sports as well. The grand opening is scheduled for June 12th, but you can already log on to their website. We've posted that link on our website, ciproud.com. A new bill could help business owners set up shop in Illinois, and WNBD's Jessica Coons explains how a new website could help. We need you know, new blood, new businesses all the time. Craig Mantrek has been the co-owner of Resource One for more than a decade. It's an office furniture store in Springfield. During his time, he's learned a lot about running a business in Illinois those fees and all the ins and outs of uh, government and who you need to register with, etc. Now a new bill could help entrepreneurs who are looking to start a business like Mantrex. If you're starting a business in your home, if you're renting your first storefront, if this is the first time you're an employer, it would create a state-run website to help new business owners succeed or to help people who want to relocate their business from another state. With just a few clicks, business owners would be able to log into an online business portal, giving them easy access to just about everything they need to know about setting up shop here in Illinois. Businesses could create their own profiles. They would be able to track the progress of their permits and licenses, as well as find out about tax incentives they might qualify for. Especially for the startup businesses, um, I, I can only imagine how difficult it is for someone to go through the entire web 
trying to find this and that. Mantrex says it could be a huge help for young entrepreneurs. There are websites, but they're kind of hard to understand and get to and navigate through. But he says it needs to be easy to use. Primary thing is to keep it uh, very simple. Because he knows from experience that running a business can get complicated. The website would need to be updated at least once a year to keep forms and information current. The numbers are in and home sales are up in the River City. Peoria Area, Area, excuse me, Peoria Area Association of Realtors says home sales increased more than 6% in the first three months of this year when compared to last year. March saw one of the biggest jumps from last year, rising nearly 23%. The agency says Caterpillar played a big role. The announcement of Caterpillar put the confidence in people, I think, uh, you know, they could breathe a little sigh of relief, you know, and they're very excited. So that announcement plus low interest rates. Now, if you're thinking about selling your house, Parr says now's the time. Inventory isn't keeping up with the number of pending sales, which are up right now. Parr says that could be a good indicator of a solid second quarter. One of accused Rosati's pizza robbers has admitted his part in the holdup. 19-year-old Benjamin Carney pled guilty to aggravated robbery at the normal restaurant last June. Police say he showed a handgun and wore a mask during the robbery. The other man accused in the crime, Brandon Rukowski, is awaiting trial. After several crashes with one involving a death, the intersection at Lincoln and Bunn Streets in Bloomington has officially been converted into a four-way stop. City engineers have installed new solar-powered LED stop signs. Conversion comes after a study by the city revealed the intersection qualified for a four-way stop after seven crashes. The LED stop signs are something new for the city of Bloomington. This location, we felt it was a good idea to try it as our first installation. Since we were changing from a two-way to a four-way, we wanted to really emphasize what was going on there, bring the attention to the traveling public. What those will do is they will help us present any, any as much as possible future accidents. Since the installation of the stop signs, traffic has been running smoothly. Bonfire, s'mores, and pledging to be smoke-free. It was all part of Bradley's Great American Smokeout. It's the first time Bradley's Sonar organization tackled marijuana. They're trying to change that perception many have of the drug. People could stop by the group's tent, get some information on marijuana and cigarettes, and pledge to be smoke-free for one day. We're hoping that this pledge will continue in if they do smoke, um, starting them to leave um, a better life and a healthier life. Right next to the smoke out, students were learning about the dangers of drinking and driving. The Bradley Educators Encouraging Responsibility Group on campus let students drive a golf cart with beer goggles on to simulate drunk driving. Well, the life of Jokar Sarnayev is in the hands of a jury. The sentencing phase has begun. Find out what one of the Boston Bombers' victims said in court today. But first, Chris? Well, the clouds have increased in uptown normal, but will this trend continue? And could we be looking at a little bit of rain? I'll have your full weather forecast coming up next. Don't go away. You're watching WMBD 31 News at 5 with Paul Cicchini, Evelyn Wilkerson, and Chief Meteorologist Chris Yates with your local Weather Authority forecast. This is WMPD 31 News at 5. You haven't had a fish sandwich like Avanti's fish sandwich. Beer battered fish fillets on our Avanti's famous bread, topped with lettuce, shredded cheddar cheese, and tartar sauce. Great food at a great price at Avanti's. Batteries Plus bulbs keep stacks of batteries for cars, cell phones, watches, plus light bulbs for lamps, can lights, and appliances right on hand. Did I mention we also repair smartphones? Batteries Plus bulbs. Trust the plus. Visit Batteries Plus bulbs today. Bike won't start? Scoot on into Batteries Plus bulbs and save $10 on Duracell Ultra AGM motorcycle batteries. Batteries Plus bulbs. Trust the plus. Your perfect summer starts at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Stop in today for the best brands at honest low prices. Right now, save on Gordon's Liquid Weed and Feed. A two and a half gallon jug is only $39.99. Save on WaterGuard QS Drought Defy Grass Seed. An 18 pound bag is $29.99. And choose from a Never Kink 100 foot heavy duty or Apex 150 foot medium duty hose. Only $29.99. For low prices and genuine value, your perfect summer starts at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. 
It's an exceptional savings opportunity at Uftree Weston in Peoria. Thousands and thousands in savings on all remaining 2014 Cadillacs, including CTS models, or lease a new 2015 SRX for only $339 per month. Now, at Uftree Weston Chevy Cadillac. Right now at Pizza Hut, you can get any two medium pizzas for $6.99 each. Choose any crust, any sauce, any toppings. So go for it, America. Order any two, 12, or any number you can think of. Add any one of our 10 crust flavors. But we can't feel our arms. Get any one of our specialty pizzas. Yeah, really stick it to us and make us feel the burn. I think Kyle's trying to say we're ready. Yeah, we are. Get any toppings, any crust flavor, anything you want on any two medium pizzas for just $6.99 each. Only at Pizza Hut. Here's what you can see tonight on WMBD 31. Enjoy some prime time and table 19. All you can eat prime rib dinner special every Friday and Saturday night. Make your reservations now at the Peoria Marriott Pair Marquette in the heart of downtown Peoria. Goods Furniture offers a wide selection of furniture choices to fit every budget. Experience a good life for yourself at Goods Furniture in Kiwani, Illinois. Register for the Mother's Day Backyard Makeover Contest at ciproud.com. The Storm Tracker Skycam Network, brought to you by Parker Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac. Now, your local weather authority, WMBD's Chief Meteorologist, Chris Yates. Well, the clouds have rolled in after a little bit of sunshine this morning. Thank you for sticking with us. The cloud cover will continue to roll in at least through early evening. Our KBL Design Center Skycam showing those clouds moving through Peoria currently. Temperature after briefly hitting about 62 degrees, now down to 60 degrees. West, nor west northwest wind now decreasing, sustained now at 18 miles per hour. Temperatures mainly in the 60s and 50s, but it is certainly getting a little cooler. There's a cold front working through the area and behind that front, cooler temperatures. And then along it tonight, we're looking at that chance for some scattered showers. In fact, the disturbance that is going to kick off these showers is now centered right around Omaha, so it'll continue to work its way eastward, bringing us a chance for some light rain tonight. Not expecting much in the way of thunder, but all that activity moving off to the east and south this evening and will clear out by early tomorrow. As we have a nice little area of high pressure beginning to settle in over the high plains, that will also begin to squeeze in some more cool air in our direction as it centers just off to our south. So looking at a pretty cool and stable air mass coming in on Thursday, the good news is we'll see a lot of sunshine. The bad news, temperatures are going to struggle to reach those mid-50s. In fact, the rest of the week looking relatively cool because behind this cool front, the air is not really going to expect it to warm up a whole lot until perhaps this weekend into early next week. So much cooler temperatures kind of sticking around, especially here in central Illinois for the next week. So keep your light coat handy because at least overnight you're going to need it. So here's our future cast through this evening. Expecting the clouds to remain. Could see some scattered showers, mainly along and south of 74, but I would not be surprised if a few more of these push a little bit further north. But your chances for showers certainly decrease as you get north of 74. And then future track, clouds clearing out by early tomorrow morning. Your low temperatures once again getting a bit on the cool side. Many of us will see temperatures into the mid-30s, 35 in Peoria. Galesburg coming in at 34, Bloomington normal around 30. 35 and mid 30s down to the south. Future track through tomorrow, a lot of sunshine. It'll be a nice day, but temperatures will be a bit cool, especially for this time of year. The wind speeds, here's another, a nice little improvement, not nearly as gusty. Sustained wind still around 15 to 25 miles per hour, especially by mid afternoon, but they'll decrease as we head through the early evening hours. High temperatures, mid 50s for us here in Peoria and in Bloomington. Could be low to mid 50s up north, and temperatures at least getting a little closer to 60 degrees to our south. So your eight day outlook, Unfortunately, looks cool, but mainly dry once we get through to uh, through the night. But then Friday and Saturday could be looking at another chance for some scattered showers as our next system begins to work its way in from the west. In fact, Saturday is looking like a cool and rainy day with highs in the mid 50s. Sunday looks dry and then could see the showers returning on Monday, but no severe weather in the forecast as of now. That's the good news when your temperatures are so cool this time of year. We'll, we'll take, take it, I think. Yeah. yeah, but that breaks the trend, though, because we had sunny weekends. We had sunny weekends, so we're going to have to find a way to flip that back here in the yeah. next week or two. So we end the week, week early. We end the week early. I like take it. The, take the weekend early, and then we'll just start over on Monday. Thursday and Friday, Sounds the news good. Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right, thanks, Chris. As a family demands justice, the Department of Justice says it's investigating the death of a man who was fatally injured during an arrest. Still today... Well, still ahead, what's next for the Baltimore cops accused of excessive force? Throughout central Illinois, there's someone lending a helping hand to families. 
and businesses, someone providing the means to make hopes and dreams become reality. We're your hometown community banks, and we're a part of your hometown. Together, we're making our community stronger, one relationship at a time. Hometown Community Banks. Look for the clock tower and you'll know. We have time for you. Remember, Desi. There's parallel parking. Or there's parking that's unparalleled. And two miles per gallon difference may not seem like much until you have to walk it. Now more than ever, reliability is an American thing. Drive the all-new Chrysler 200 during the Chrysler Awards season event. While qualified lessees get a low mileage lease on 200 Limited for $1.99 a month or purchase and get these cash allowances. The first hybrid in America, a Honda. The first to meet the Clean Air Act standards, a Honda. And now we're the first to do something else. The Honda Dream Garage Sales Event! Right now you can get an amazing deal on a Honda Accord. Named a 2015 IIHS Top Safety Pick. The Honda Dream Garage Sales Event. Get a dream deal on an Accord with standard rear view camera. Now, at your Honda dealer. GE just announced three really big offers for the month of April. A big package rebate on full kitchens, a free upgrade to stainless steel, and an extra year's warranty on any of the appliances. GE hasn't done this for several years where they overlap three different offers like this. Each of the offers has dozens of models on it. On our sales floor, we'll actually show you which ones qualify for which. So if you want to maximize it and get a package where you stack all three on top, it's fairly easy to do. All three offers are happening now through April 28th. There's a lot we can do to save energy at home. And with energy efficiency programs from Ameren, Illinois, it's never been easier to do even more. In fact, over 500,000 Ameren, Illinois customers have already reduced their energy use. Delivering reliable energy is my job. But using less energy at home is something we all can do. Ameren, Illinois. Energy at work. Life happens, and when it does, you need health coverage. Major life events like having a baby or getting married may qualify you to enroll at GetCoveredIllinois.gov. Trim your yard to perfection with powerful Poulon Pro Mowers from Menards. This 2-in-1 high-wheel gas mower includes a 140cc Briggs & Stratton engine and a 21-inch cutting deck. Just $174. Be sure to keep your lawn growing strong with Menards Premium Lawn Fertilizers. Menards Premium Weed and Feed simultaneously eliminates weeds and nourishes grass. One bag covers up to 5,000 square feet. Right now, it's only $8.99 after rebate. Save big money at Menards. Taking action for you. This is WMBD 31 News at 5. Jurors at the Boston Marathon bombing trial have begun hearing testimony as they decide if convicted bomber Johar Sarnayev should live or die. Chris Van Cleve has the story. This is Johar Sarnayev. Prosecutor Nadine Pellegrini said as she showed jurors a photo of Sarnayev making a crude gesture to a jailhouse camera. She called him unconcerned unrepentant and unchanged as the government began its case to execute the 21-year-old. Sarnayev was convicted two weeks ago on all 30 counts for the April 2013 bombings that killed three people and injured more than 260. The defense team decided to delay their opening arguments until after prosecutors have finished their case. Sarnayev's lawyers are hoping to convince the jury the convicted killer deserves a life sentence. They've argued throughout he fell under the influence of his radicalized older brother. But prosecutors say Johar was a full partner in the terror attacks. They are calling survivors to the stand, including Celeste Corcoran, who was watching for her sister to finish the marathon when the first blast went off. She told jurors, our whole world just exploded. I just remember hearing blood-curdling screams, seeing blood everywhere, debris falling from the sky. I remember thinking, no, no, I wanted it to be five minutes ago. This can't be reality. Corcoran lost both legs and her daughter was badly injured. The penalty phase is expected to last up to a month. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Boston. Now that 12-member jury must unanimously agree if Sarnayev is to get the death penalty.
The Justice Department says it's probing the death of a man who suffered spinal injuries during an altercation with Baltimore police. It comes as friends and family of the man who died are demanding justice. We want answers. We want justice. We want them to be charged. Today, Baltimore police released the names of the officers who were involved in the arrest and transport of 25-year-old Freddie Gray. The officers have been suspended with pay, including Lieutenant Brian Rice, who initiated the arrest. He's been with the department since 1997. Police say officers tackled Gray after he ran and that he had a switchblade in his pocket. How does a healthy guy who gets arrested for nothing end up with a 80% severed spinal cord and a broken neck? How's that happen? The Baltimore police are promising a thorough investigation, a vigilance planned tonight at the spot where Gray was arrested. Retailers are pulling Blue Bell ice cream products from store shelves, and you're being told not to eat any Blue Bell products you may have at home. The company issued a voluntary recall after, after samples of the ice cream tested positive for the potentially deadly bacteria Listeria. Symptoms include fever, muscle aches, and nausea. The move followed weeks of gradual recalls over the same concerns. This is not something we're used to, uh, and it's unacceptable for us, um, and we're, gonna, we're committed to doing the right thing. The company says it's now expanding its cleaning and sanitizing system, and it will improve employee training. He's just five years old, but he's a member of a university baseball team. We'll tell you how the soon-to-be kindergartner got called up to college. I'm sorry, Dad. It's all too much. I love you. Goodbye. I sleep with the no sign of a struggle or foul play. Is she still alive? This is cyberbullying. She's terrorized in her own bedroom. So is my world. We'll find her. A new CSI Cyber on its special night, CBS Tonight. Run away here with me. This award season, the red carpet has shades of green. The spotlight shines all day. And the best four-wheeler of the year lets you go where others can't. So you end up with the best seats in the house. The 2015 Jeep Award Season Event. Well-qualified lessees get a low-mileage lease on the 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo for $2.99 a month. Snyder Village is my place to call home. Actually, it's our place to call home. Snyder Village is our place to call home. Snyder Village is my grandpa's place to call home. Snyder Village is our place to call home. Snyder Village is my mom's place to call home. Make Snyder Village your place to call home. Snyder Village, your place to call home. <laughs> I had a client run a red light. Hit a minivan, even got the ticket. Minivan calls for medical bills and lost wages. <laughs> How did you deny the claim? I used the old blame the victim trick. <laughs> Thank you. Blame the victim. I love it. What is it? Minivan hired strong law. They know all my tricks. But if they can get to you, they can get to all of us. Accident claim denied. Get strong. Grossinger Motors has just one thing in mind, delivering the Subaru you want at the price you want. We've added up all the savings and incentives, then price cut it to sell. Right now, drive a new Impreza for just $21,400 or lease a new Forester for just $159 per month. Stop in today or visit our website for over 250 deals to choose from. Only at Grossinger Motors, 1430 Fort Jesse Road in Normal and at GrossingerSubaru.com. Not everyone wants to follow the crowd, especially when they have a truck capable of taking them farther. And that's exactly what Ram 1500 can do with the best fuel economy out there. It's this kind of leadership that has more people driving Ram trucks than ever before. Guts. Glory. Ram. Well-qualified lessees get this low-mileage sign-and-drive lease for $2.99 a month with zero do it signing. Taking action for you. This is WMBD 31 News at 5. Now get ready because you're about to meet the newest member of the UConn men's baseball team. Johan Pearson shows us how this five-year-old's energy and bravery are unmatched. 
hungry? Are you eating my microphone? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. I'm not. If, uh, if nobody told you that this kid uh, had cancer or was battling leukemia, I don't know if anybody would ever like pick up on it. Meet the newest member of the UConn baseball team, five-year-old Grayson Hand. We always want to be surrounded by brave, courageous, and tough people. And in reading about Grayson's story, um, we know that he's one of those people. So what's it like being a UConn Husky baseball player? I'm playing baseball. You like baseball? Mm -hmm. The hard-hitting righty has a signed letter of acceptance to prove it. You ready to play baseball? Right now? I, well, yeah. Yeah! Signed, sealed, and delivered. The little man with leukemia played some ball and ran around UConn's indoor facility with boundless energy. One of his newest teammates, Carson Cross, was impressed. He's got funny energy. Yeah. Look at him. <laughs> he seems to be enjoying himself, so it's awesome to see that kind of excitement in him. Yeah. And he seemed to open up to our team right away. Hopefully we made him feel special today, but I know he made our guys feel special. Flanked by his mom and dad and seven-year-old sister Sophie, this soon-to-be kindergartner mixed and mingled. The Hand family is now part of the Husky family. Well, Grayson has cancer in his body, uh, but we as a family carry symptoms along with him. Today, you know, watching Grayson kind of standing up there signing this, this is a physical manifestation of the support that we have felt. Grayson was diagnosed with the blood cancer nearly two years ago. What that meant for him was about three and a half years of uh, chemotherapy every single day. We are now a um, year and a half in, almost two years, and uh, Grayson is doing unbelievably well. That was a great story. Sure was. All right, don't go anywhere. Chris has your final look at the forecast next. When it comes to car dealers, there is a difference. Save thousands off of MSRP and take advantage of 0% financing plus cash from Toyota on new 2015 Prius, Camry, Avalon, RAV4, and Sienna. Being there when you need us, it's part of the Dennis and Toyota difference. I've got a to-do list and five acres of fresh air. Top three tools, hammer, screwdriver, front loader. Happiness is a drive over mower day. A John Deere dealer can teach tractors to anybody. And the right hands at iMatch Quick Hitch could probably cure most of the world's problems. That's how we run. And nothing runs like a deer. See your John Deere dealer for great deer season savings on the One Family Subcompact Tractors. We didn't choose from the 18 different shades of paint for her room. We didn't organize the drawers of little socks and onesies. But we did warm the bath water that gave her a warm welcome home. At Enbridge, we believe when the energy you invest in life meets the energy we fuel it with, beautiful things happen. Enbridge. Life takes energy. Mediacom's Home Controller is the easiest way to control and monitor your home. And now, for a limited time, get a $149 credit towards equipment. Want the power to turn the lights on while you're away? Adjust the thermostat from anywhere? Or check on the kids right from the office? Home Controller packages are very affordable, starting as low as just $34.99 per month. Plus, get a $149 credit towards startup costs when you act now. Call 844-2-SECURE. And your new dentures will be ready in a few weeks. A few weeks? How am I going to eat? With this. Uh -oh. I am not doing that. Okay, let's try something new. And your dentures will be ready Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Mm -hmm. mm. At Aspen Dental, we're not just fixing teeth. We're fixing dentistry with dentures in days, not weeks. Just call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. Ford is taking the EcoBoost Challenge all across America. Now it's your turn. Here we go. To know that the F-150 has the EcoBoost, I'm saving fuel, but I'm not losing any of the power. The 2014 F-150s are going fast. Don't miss your last chance to get a great deal. Ford is towing it so easily. I love the Ford. I'd like to drive it all the way home. <laughs> Hurry to get a 2014 F-150 with 0 for 60 plus 1,500 trade assist. Or get 5750 cash savings plus 1,000 bonus cash plus 1,500 trade assist. 
When it comes to car dealers, there is a difference. Denison Ford has a super selection of best-selling new Fords, all with low sale prices, plus 0% APR financing, including Fiesta, Focus, Fusion, and Taurus. Being there when you need us, it's all part of the Denison Ford difference. The weather information you need in the morning. Meteorologist Lauren Rainson and WMBD 31 News This Morning, your local weather authority. Taking action for you. This is WMBD 31 News at 5. So All right. windy. Oh, yeah. And yeah, a little oh, yeah. windy, a little windy now. That's going to go away, but we're going to be looking at a chance for some rain showers this evening, unfortunately. Uh, temperatures, though, the rest of the week, while we will dry out, temperatures into the 50s and lower 60s. Our next chance for some good rain will come in, unfortunately, this weekend. Okay, thanks. We'll, we'll see you right back here at 6. And don't forget, we're always on CIProud.com.